They're in downtown Silverton, Oregon. He used to be the mayor here. What I like to describe is the town that time forgot. Now Stu Rasmussen is in the coin machine game. Behold the kiss meter. You know, it has kind of that, that old 1950s, 1960s feel to it. It's an ugly metal box uh, with flashing lights on it. And, I'm satisfied with it. The idea came to him in February. I have a reputation for doing odd stuff. And he's hoping you will too. This is supposed to be a fun project and a, and a fun product. So we found the Jeffers, gave them 50 cents, <laughs> and tested their 65-year marriage. The whole thing, quite a who. It's the first time in that 65 years of marriage that you've done a kiss meter? <laughs> it's the yes. first time, yes. <laughs> All right. It's a whole new thing. Noting that an 18-second kiss well, when you're our ages, it's important to breathe. <laughs> can really take your breath away. So you're probably wondering how in the heck does this thing work? Well, inside of the kiss meter, there's a small electrical circuit. It sends a current through both people kissing. That current is analyzed, and so is your relationship. It is uh, entirely scientific. It measures the the intensity and duration of, a, of the connection between two people. It hasn't been a cheap investment. Rasmussen estimates about 10,000 bucks has gone into the creation. It's not dead, but it's not anything like what it used to be. And here in Max Place in Silverton, you never know just when it could come in handy. When you get clo close to closing time and you have to decide between Mr. Right and Mr. Right now, maybe you need some empirical uh, measurements to do that.